So here is your first look at a real and fake pair of the Nike SB Dunk Hoodie Top. Can you tell any difference between these two? Stay tuned to the video. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at two pairs of Nike SB Dunk Hoodie Tops. One is real and one is fake. As you can probably tell by the boxes, the real one is here on my right and the fake one is here on my left. It's just a comparison to help you if you are trying to purchase a retail pair and what to look for if you are and so you don't get scammed. So I guess we'll get straight into the comparison and we'll start with the boxes and there's a clear difference between the two. So fake one's here and you can see the box is incredibly damaged. It's absolutely battered like. And if we compare them from above, you can see that the color is actually slightly different. So on the retail one, you can see it's a laminated box. So it's very shiny on the top. Whereas the fake one, it's more of a matte finish on the box. There's no lamination to it at all. And because of this lamination, you can also see there's actually a clear color difference between the two. I would say the retail one's slightly more creamy and the fake one gives off the kind of like greeny hint to it. So there's a clear difference between the two boxes and it's so easy to tell straight away. So now if we spin the boxes around, take a closer look at the labels, you can also see a difference here. So the retail one, you can see it says Nike SB Dunk Low Pro QS, whereas on the fake one, you can see it just says Nike SB Dunk Low. You can also see there's some markings on the barcode itself and the overall text and font size on the label is very different from retail to fake. And you can see this with the spacing of all the numbers and the UK sizing. So as you saw on the label there, I purchased these both in my true to size UK9, so it should be a direct comparison. I guess we'll just get straight into it because nobody really wants to talk about the boxes for the entire video. So we'll open them up, take a close look at the shoes. Let's open up the fake one first. They've actually wrapped the paper around the shoe, so you can see that here. Let's take a look at the retail one. And they've wrapped it around one shoe and exposed one shoe, but I really like the shoe, it looks so good. But we'll take them out and compare the shoes side by side. It must be said that the fake one also came with this Chinese Nike leaflet with it, which tells you a little bit of warnings about the shoe and how you should wear it, I guess. So here is your first look at a real and fake pair of the Nike SB Dunk Harito. Can you tell any difference between these two? We've taken both shoes out of the box and I can see a difference straight away. So we'll take a look. So as you know, it does have this kind of like woven upper material going on the outer side of the shoe. And if we compare these side by side, we can see there's a clear color difference between the retail and fake. What I'd say is the fake one is a slightly darker woven material than the retail one. It kind of looks a little bit used and kind of like dirty. It's just not as bright as it is on the retail pair. On the retail pair, it looks really clean and it's a nice creamy kind of color. And to be honest, in general, the overall shoe just kind of looks dirty. If you look at the toe box as well and compare these side by side, there's just some markings on it and it's a slightly darker color and it just, it doesn't stand out as brightly as it does on the retail pair. It's probably not showing up when I hold them up side by side here, but the retail one is a lot cleaner. So as we looked at the toe box and the material and the color of it, we can actually see a difference in the shape as well. So if I show you from above, you can see the shape of the toe box is very different from retail to fake, with the fake one being a little bit more narrow and boxier towards the end of the toe box. And it's just clear to see the difference between the retail and the fake pair. So if I tilt the shoes on the side and we take a look at the swoosh on both of these pairs, you can see a difference here. So if I give you a close up of this, you can see that the swoosh is made up of a green and white material. However, on the fake one, you can see the white material coming through the swoosh is much bolder than it is on the retail one. On the retail one, it kind of blends in with that green material above, but on the fake one, you can see it's pretty much divided equally between white and green material. So if we look at the embroidered symbol on the outer side of the heel and compare these side by side, you can see that they are different in shape. What I would say is the embroidery is a little bit cleaner on the retail one compared to the fake one, and the overall shape and sizing is different from retail to fake. However, from first glance, they are pretty close. So now if we spin the shoe to the back, take a look at the Haritos embroidered text at the back heel, we can see a clear difference between the retail and fake. When comparing them side by side here, you can see the Haritos text on the fake one is much chunkier and messier compared to the retail one. The retail one is actually really well done. It's really clean and I'm very impressed with the embroidery. But the fake one, you can see it's much larger and just a little bit chunkier font text size. So on this pair in particular, they do come with three sets of spare laces and they're not bagged. They're just tied to the original laces in the shoe. And if we compare the spare laces side by side, we can see differences. So the majority of the differences occur on both the green and the orange. You can see the orange lace is different color from retail to fake. And you can see the green one as well is once again a different color and a different thickness. So they've not got the spare lace is correct at all there's a clear difference between the orange one the orange one's probably the most noticeable so if you're looking at them quickly take a look at the orange one because the orange one is incredibly different from retail to fake so now we're going to take a look inside the shoe so we'll take out the shoe paper the retail one and the fake one there is a difference between the two as you can see here 
The fake one is a more laminated, lighter color compared to the retail one, which is a darker shoe paper on the inside. And then if we take out the insoles of both pairs, fake one first, if I can get it out. Oh, it's really stuck in. This one was actually glued in, so I really hope the retail one isn't. I'm never gonna get this out. There we go, that took ages. So you can see there's a lot of details on the insoles when you're comparing them side by side. And we'll take a closer look at these details and see which ones are different. So firstly, we'll start with the Nike SB Haritos at the bottom heel. You can see the text and font size and the actual overall color is very different from retail to fake. And it's clearly more visible on the retail one compared to the fake one. And if you look at the flavors all over the insole, you can see that these are actually much larger on the retail one compared to the fake one when they should be the same. And also the colors are more bright on the retail one compared to the fake one. Spinning the insoles upside down, you can see a clear difference. There's this black section here on the fake one, whereas on the retail one, it's it's matching color to the insole pretty much. There's a clear difference side by side. So now if you take a look at the left pair and spin this around to the back and take a look at the heel, you can see it has a Nike embroidery on this side. If you take a closer look at this Nike embroidery, you can see that there's a difference in sizing on the retail compared to the fake. On the fake one, the Nike text is much larger once again compared to the retail one. And if we look at the overall heel, we can see that the woven material at the bottom half is much larger on the fake one compared to the retail one. It's very clear to see this. And the final difference I'm gonna point out, as you can see where the soles attached to the upper material, there's a stitching line in orange going all the way around the shoe. And if you look at the spacing that's provided for the stitching on the retail and the fake, you can see on the outer side, there's much more spacing given on the fake pair compared to the retail one. So you can pretty much see that the section cut for the stitching is much larger and wider compared to the retail pair. But these are small differences you're gonna to have to look for if you are trying to authenticate your pair. But I really hope this comparison has helped you if you are trying to purchase a retail pair because this pair oh, is so nice. Check out the details. I love this pair and it actually might be my shoe of the year so far. I just think it's so clean. The colors use the material. And if you're brave enough, you can actually cut off this upper woven material and it reveals an orange layer below. And I guess we could compare these side by side, but I really don't want to cut these up just yet. So maybe after a few wears, I'll do the comparison once again and we'll take a look at the underside underneath the woven material. But it is an orange color and I'm probably gonna assume they're slightly off compared to retail to fake. But thanks for watching. Hope this video has helped you. Please like and subscribe, helps the channel grow. Helps me do more comparisons like these ones. And thanks for supporting, it really does help. Hope you have an amazing day.